Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. In this video today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how you can run two Minecraft instances on the same computer. So normally you wouldn't really be able to do this because as we all know, if you plug in another keyboard and another mouse, it doesn't act as a separate keyboard and mouse. It's kind of like they all act as one, even if you have multiple keyboards. Uh, connected. Now how are we going to achieve this today? Well, it's thanks to a brand new update I released for controllable which introduces virtual mouses and if you guys don't know what controllable is it's basically a mod for the Java edition of the game which enables controller support. Um, something that has never really been seen in the Java edition is a good mod that allows you to play you know with a PS4 controller, an Xbox controller or something like that. Now I do want to point this out before we do get into this tutorial and that is that at least one person has to play with a controller. Um, as I said you can't have two keyboards, that's just not possible. But at least one person has to be playing with a controller. Uh, you can both be playing with a controller if you really want to. Um, you don't have to use the keyboard and mouse at all. So I just want to say that right now before we do start is you are going to need to have a controller in order for this to work. But anyway. Um, I am going to as well assume you guys know how to install Forge, um, you know how to install mods, that's going to be a little prerequisite of this video today, if not I'll put some links in the description below where you can learn how to install Forge and how to install mods. Um, go check those videos out if you don't know already. Anyway, we are going to open up our Minecraft launcher and the first thing that we are going to do is uh, create a new profile. So. Let's go ahead, let's call this, we're going to call it controllable player one. So we're going to be creating two separate profiles here. So the reason why I'm going to be creating two separate ones is because I don't want the settings to kind of overlap, um, especially once you get into controllable, you can customize things like the dead zone on the controller, you can change around the mappings and whatnot. I don't want that to conflict because if they're going to the same directory, uh, it means like, you know, player 2 is going to override player one settings and, you know, vice versa. And it's going to be really um, annoying to have to change those settings every time you start up. So that's why we're creating two separate profiles. So I'm going to call this controllable player one. Um, I've already got Forge installed. So I'm using 1.14.4 in this tutorial. So if we go to version here, we can scroll down. As you can see, I have the recommended Forge as as of, uh, as, 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 re sorry, <laughs> currently this is the recommended version of Forge 28.1.0, um, at the time of this, at the time of creating this video. So I've already got it installed. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. As I mentioned, you do need to know already how to install Forge and that type of stuff to do this tutorial today. So if you, in if you've installed Forge in the past, you can just find it in your version list here. 28.1.0 but you can go ahead get the latest recommended whatever version um, is the latest one I'm just using the one at the time of this video here and then what we want to do is just click browse and then click OK and this is going to fill in this path here and then at the end what we're going to do is create a new data a uh, new game directory we'll call this controllable at the end here I'm just going to do like minecraft dash controllable if I can spell controllable one, so controllable player one. Uh, you can change the resolution if you want to, add any other properties that you need um, for yourself. Uh, we could increase the uh, RAM as well, uh, but because we're not really loading up any mods, we're just loading controllable, uh, the default RAM should be fine. Let's go ahead, click create, and then what we'll do is before we go ahead and launch that up, let's go ahead, let's duplicate that. We should have a duplicate here, let's edit. Uh, we'll call this controllable, controllable player two, and then here for the game directory, make sure you change that around, change that to two, change that to two at the end there. And uh, we're almost there. We're gonna go ahead, generate the folders. So I'm gonna go ahead, click play, I'm just going to close that off, don't really need that. Let's go back to the launcher here. 
and I think we also might just go ahead and run play two as well. So again, something you need to be kind of weary about is can your computer actually run two versions of the game? Uh, this warning is nothing related to what I'm about to say, but uh, you need to be able to, your computer needs to be able to handle two Minecrafts running at the same time. Um, if you have a very weak PC, um, this solution, this might not really be appropriate. Is that the right word to use? <laughs> I don't really know. Alright, so we've run the game. You can see Forge is loaded correctly. No mods installed, obviously. We're going to install it in a second here. Let's just load up this one as well. Just to, gen ju just to generate all the folders in the game directory. Alright, there we go. We're all good now. So what you need to do is locate the um, directory. You can actually just go ahead, copy that there. Open a new explorer window. Alright, I don't want to leak anything. This is just my thumbnails folder. Alright, let's go ahead and paste that in. So as you can see, this is our controllable one. We've got controllable... Well, so this is, sorry, this is controllable one. We got our mods folder, we got our config. So this is again why I didn't want this to go to the same one because we have a config folder and maybe you want to change around, you know, the individual properties for um, each player, especially stuff like dead zone and that stuff I mentioned before. All right, now what we need to do is simply download controllable. So I'll put a link in the description. This is my website here and this is controllable. Um, if you scroll down to the bottom, you can find the download. So we need to download at least version 0.6.1 and that's the one you should find on my website. Obviously, this is for 1.14. So we'll go ahead and download this version and then just wait for that to download. Now, as I mentioned in most of my tutorials and uh, for people that are watching this video, I assume you're a little bit more experienced if, you've already, if you already know how to install Forge and whatnot. Um, but only download mods from trusted websites. Um, I only host my mods on my website and CurseForge. If you're downloading them from anywhere else, I don't know what they've done to them. So I recommend you only download it. I, I only suggest you download it from my website um, and CurseForge nowhere else. Um, so yeah, this file is safe, but keep that in mind. Don't download it. Download my mods from anywhere else besides my website and Curse Forge. So let's go ahead, press keep there. We're gonna bring up the controllable folder here and we're simply just gonna go ahead, whoops, go ahead, pop that into the mods folder. So it should be in there and we'll go ahead, copy that as well into the other mods folder in controllable two. All right, we're almost there. So we can go ahead and close that off now. We can close that off. We don't actually need to go in there anymore. So let's go ahead, let's launch up both of the games now. All right, so as you can see, we now have both of our Minecrafts open. We have player one to the left, and then we have player one to the right here. Now, we need to go ahead and configure a couple of things here. So you need to go into options for each of the mods here. Um, we'll ignore the controller for right now. Let's go to settings. And what you need to do is make sure you have virtual mouse set to on. Um, here you can change around stuff like the dead zone mouse speed and rotation speed and this is stuff that if they were working in the same directory uh, this would override player twos and vice versa so that's why I created separate profiles uh, you can turn off the render the mini player auto select just make sure auto selects the controller if one is unplugged so maybe you don't need that on our, I would actually suggest turning that off if you're using it in this kind of two-player environment here. Uh, but now that we've finished that, let's go ahead, click done. And then here, what you need to do is select your controller. So I'm actually going to be using two controllers. One person, if they want, can be using keyboard and mouse. Um, but in this scenario, I'm just going to be doing two different controllers. So for player one here, I'm going to select my PS4 controller. So make sure you have it plugged in. Um, through USB or somehow and it should show up in this list if it doesn't it most likely isn't supported in controllable there's not a lot I can do because it's based on the library which I have no control over uh, so select that and we should see now if I use uh, my controller here this here is the virtual mouse completely different to this mouse here this is the one that actually controls everything so we can go ahead 
go back um, and it's just like normal so next you need to go over to player twos here go to controller and then you need to, you need to select a different controller you can't select the same one I think you can but uh, <laughs> that's a little bit weird you probably don't want to do that so select a unique controller so I'm gonna select my PS1 controller here oops uh, I don't think that's the right one hold up I know stick sign on there we go so as you can see I'm operating each controller here and you can see that they're moving the kind of mouse is moving independently from the other one here so we can go ahead go into single player here now this is one thing that uh, we're gonna run into a problem here and I will tell you a solution to fix it so this is not a perfect solution to play multiplayer right now because what you actually need to do is player one both of these have to have different accounts so you know this would be a main account and maybe this is your friends account or something like that so when you do start up the game so let's go back here real quickly when you do start up the game and you're launching player one here um, I'm on my main account so I'd go ahead and click play and then when I go to player two here I would go ahead change my account here to my second one and load it up with that and that allows you to actually play over LAN if you don't do that you'll when you try to connect to each other through LAN it will say that you're already logged into the world so you do need to have two separate Minecraft accounts for this to work but I, I'm assuming like if you've got a friend or something they can just sign in um, and then you can play together and then obviously you know when you're gone make sure you <laughs> if you if you're that friend that logged into your into your friend's computer make sure you remove your details from their computer otherwise they can get access to your account and you obviously don't want that uh, you know but in this scenario here um, let's say you don't want to play you don't want to play kind of multiplayer together you can just play single player like you normally would so let's go ahead head back here I'm just doing this with the mouse just to make it a little bit easier now we're not completely done yet um, we're not completely done yet so don't uh, head out of this tutorial right now so we're just loading up the world for each one here one thing that you need to do for this to work properly is make sure you uh, what is the uh, you need to turn off unpause uh, I think what is it uh, pause and focus turn that to uh, disabled so press F3P and set that to disabled that means that when the mouse is off screen it's not going to pause the game at all so if I had to switch over to the other window here uh, well, let's go back over here let's turn this on if I was to go over to this other window as you can see it automatically paused the game you don't want that to happen so make sure pause on lost focus is disabled and again that's F3 plus P so that is ready let's go over to this one make sure you turn it off on this on here as well um, and this is again this is a scenario where I need to change the dead zone on the second player here so let's go ahead let's go into the start menu here oh okay it's gonna be a little bit difficult uh, let's do this settings we need to turn this dead zone up to maybe 0 0.4 there and that should stop the awkward movement with this controller alright there we go so as you can see player 2 here I'm controlling with um, the PS1 controller and then over this side I am using the PS4 so <laughs> try and do this <laughs> it's really hard using the controller with one hand so I want to just prove that you know uh, I am playing like the game oh okay <laughs> I'm playing the game separately now as I mentioned at the start of this video only one person actually needs to be using a controller um, so the other person can actually still be using the keyboard and mouse so as you can see here uh, I'll run with this I will run try and control the uh, player one I'm actually using player two here with the keyboard and mouse I can still do everything normally they would normally be able to do so looking around with the mouse um, yeah it's really hard to demonstrate this without having like a second person here but I think you guys get the idea and that is you can run two Minecraft instances uh, simply by using controllable
But that is going to end off this video today. I do have a couple final words that I would like to say before I end off this video. Um, you know, this approach that we're taking a look at, or this this new approach that we're taking a look at to run two Minecraft instances, I feel like is kind of changing, you know? I feel like there's a lot of people out there that, you know, have always wanted to do this, but, you know, to really do it, you needed a second computer. And, you know, sometimes that's not really the best solution. Um, a really cool thing about this as well is, you know, it's the Java edition of the game. You can install mods. You can do all that stuff. You can play on the same screen as you can see right now. So let's say you're, you know, co-oping or you're playing on multiplayer. It's really handy to be able to see the other player's screen. Now, something that actually motivated me to create this update and controllable in general is um, I have like I actually have I have a niece in real life who loves Minecraft, and uh, I play I play Minecraft with her from time to time, and she is only good at Minecraft with a controller. Um, she doesn't know how to use the keyboard and mouse to play the game, so being able to have controller support, making it pretty much the same as, uh, you know, the console version of the game, and allowing her to play on the Java edition of the game, and it just seems like normal, is really cool. But now, um, because we can play on the same screen, I don't have to, you know, set up the other, set up my laptop for her to play. We can now play on the same computer. We can just simply run a LAN server, um, you know, three here, just open to LAN and we can play together. Um, something that is really cool, and you can't really see it on this video, is I actually have a second monitor, so I can have one game maximized on my first monitor, and the second one on my second monitor, so we can have both kind of like a full screen game um, together, and we can both see each other's screens at the same time, which is um, really cool. But that is all I wanted to say. Um, hopefully you guys have learned how to set it up today. Hopefully it was clear and if you guys did enjoy this video and you want to see more, hit that like button, subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!